Good morning, good morning. How are you? It is Thursday again. <laughs> Comes around so quickly. I hope that you are very, very well and have had a fabulous week. Uh, what have you got up to? Um, have you tried any new makeup looks this week? Did you check out my video the other day on the new products that have launched? Um, are you coming to our Christmas pamper evening next Friday night? I'm so excited about that. It's going to be such a fabulous evening. If you don't know anything about what I'm talking about, check it out on my page down below. But today I am going to do my makeup live as I usually do on a Thursday morning. So if you are here, say hi. It's so lovely to have you with me. But today I wanted to use some of the new baked eyeshadow trio trios that uh, have launched with Mary Kay. They are beautiful. There is lots of colors. There's shimmers. There's a couple of mattes in there as well, but mostly they're shimmery, woohoo, which complement our wonderful Chroma Fusion matte range. Um, so I know that you will love them. And I'd, I just wanted to do a look today because there's a few palettes that I think people get a little bit afraid about. There's no need to get afraid about them, but I get that sometimes colors give you bad memories, um, such as this one, which is Sing Blues. Whoa, I almost dropped it. <laughs> um, so we've got some bright blue eyeshadow. Now, what does that bring back? It gives memories of um, the 80s, um, badly done makeup. Hi, Christy. Uh, for me, it also brings back memories of my mum's albums because um, especially on her first one, she had a perm and blue eyeshadow and that's how I knew her as a young kid. Um, you know, that's what you did in the 80s you, when you were a singer, you wore blue eyeshadow. So um, anyway, I, I actually love this palette because I, I love blue, but um, you can see just three gorgeous, gorgeous colors. Now these baked eyeshadow trios, um, they're buildable color, they're gorgeous, vibrant color. They have um, a whole range. You can use them together, just all three, because they all go together. Or you can mix and match with our matte range um, so that you can create a look that's great for you and that you love. So today, my look that I'm going to do is gonna be a little bit of, it's basically an everyday look that you can wear with the blue. You could do this more vibrantly, you could go much more like smoky eye blue, and um, then you could have it really vibrant and crazy. But um, we're gonna start with that. So first of all, let's do some face. So I have done my skincare, of course. Um, love my skincare and look, your skin will glow so much more if you do the right thing for your skin. If you want great skin for summer and for the party season and for going into a new, new seasons and all of that, you want to make sure your skin's right. So if you haven't get that checked, make sure you get your skin right first. Promise you, you won't regret it. So uh, this is starting with the Honey Glow Finisher. So this is basically a finishing skincare, but it's also a primer as well. And I love it. Oh, if you've got, um, it's great for normal to dry skin. Um, it's fine for combination to oily too. I just find that um, just, I would advise, yeah, just using it, making sure you use it with, um, matte found, liquid foundation um, if you've got one of your skin and that's what I do anyway um, when I wear luminous liquid um, I don't wear this underneath it I just wear the normal foundation primer as well um, but today I am using matte beige N150 in the new Timewise 3D range if you've not tried these you really should get onto them they are fabulous um, I love these foundations. They're buildable color. They're perfect match with your skin tone. They are light, like super light. You never feel like they're on. They're breathable. They're healthy for your skin. They also have the Time Ice 3D complex in there. So they're age fighting as well, which is awesome. Plus, oh, don't I, I must mention there is a I am truly um, competition 
going on with Mary Kay at the moment. So um, if you have one of these foundations or you use one, put a picture up of yourself in this foundation with the whatever number you are and um, you have the chance to win a prize pack valued at $149, which gives you a couple of foundations, um, a brush. I, I'm trying to remember what else is in there. Sorry, I can't remember. I will make sure it goes up on my page again. Um, you may have seen it. There's a picture of me on some of it. <laughs> I just love this foundation. Look, it's like perfect. There's no lines. It goes in. Now, I love using this, the liquid foundation brush. Um, you might enjoy this one, the oval one, um, or you might do a sponge. Um, I just like the finish of this. You might even just use your fingers. If you do use your fingers, do you like that finish? Let me know. So I'm also just going over my eyelids. I don't know always, but I am today just to give a good base. Um, and now I'm just going to grab my, I'm actually still going to go deep ivory concealer. Oh, and there's a special deal this month too. If you buy a foundation, a concealer that matches, um, you can, you get, a free under eye corrector, which we all know is the best thing ever. Um, a free under eye corrector and a blending sponge. So don't miss that this month. If you want that, you need to contact your Mary Kay Lady Direct because it's a special deal. So I just think it's super important to make sure that like all of these things that I've used so far are still skincare. Like the TimeWise 3D Foundations has the TimeWise um, 3D Complex in it, which is in my skincare. Um, and that helps to brighten, revitalize, smooth, um, and look after my skin in environmental triggers. So that was just some pinpoint concealing there. Um, ooh, playing dominoes. So it's really important to look after your skin. Make sure you're drinking enough water. Um, I've got, I'm drinking a coffee, but it's a collagen coffee. So I put in Miracle Collagen from um, imbibeliving.com. Um, I love their beauty renewal and their Miracle Collagen because that helps my gut. Because there's so much that happens with your gut. So I, I find probiotics, all of that is really, really important. So um, I've dealt with some issues and so that's really really helped me um, but it also helps your skin so got so much going on outside today the rubbish truck has driven past like three times I don't even know why so I am gonna get into my eyes uh, brushing my eyebrows brush 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 And then I'm going to grab, did it go in my little palette? Mm, 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 mm. Just trying to find my little palette that has my thing in it. Oh, well, I'll use the big one. So I'm just going to grab some espresso, just eyeshadow because I just want to make sure that I've got some nice defined line and then I'm just going to use the um, deep brunette um, volumizing tint just get some lines because I still want reasonably defined eyebrows for this look um, because I'm going with quite like a color eyeshadow, you can either, there's sort of two ways to look at it. Make sure your eyebrows are, are neat and defined. Um, not necessarily like over the top colored, just neat and defined. If you use the volumizing tint, 
Let me know what colour you use. And say hello if you're watching. I'd love to hear from you. So you can see there, just on the edge of my eyebrow, I lost my brush. There it is. Um, I just want to get that line because it was just a bit patchy. So I like to just even out the lines because we often have, yes, your brows are sisters, not twins. Um, I think that's kind of funny too because I have a sister who looks exactly like me. She's eight years younger, but we are sisters, not twins. Um, they are sisters, not twins, so they don't have to be perfectly matched, but often we'll have one that is, you know, shorter on one side than the other um, or fuller than the other. So you just, you want to even them out. That's, that's the whole idea. So I'm just going to grab my volumizing tin in deep brunette. We're going to just wipe the excess off. And just brush, brush it on. Now you could brush it. I do advise having a play with with this when you get it, just to work out what works for you, because everyone's brows sort of sit differently. Um, you know, the way the color goes through might be different. You might be heavier handed. Um, so you want to make sure you have a little bit of a play um, when you get it so that you can work out what's the best thing for you. Then sometimes um, I like to just grab my spoolie again and just brush through with a bigger spoolie than the one that's on the, the tint brush just so that it evens it all out. So there we go. Okay, so getting on into the eyes. Now, I did put my foundation over there, but what I'm going to do today, you could put some eye primer. Um, I'm just going to grab my concealer, deep ivory, because what I want is quite vibrant in here. So just pat that on. Then you can either use a brush. I'm just going to use my finger. Notice I'm using my ring finger because it's my softest finger and you want to be careful around the eyes. So this just gives a bright and even palette to work on. Plus it also gives the eyeshadow something a little bit more to grip onto. Uh, so you might notice that the color will be a bit more vibrant and it could last a bit longer. All right. Hold on, I'm just gonna have a drink. Okay, so sing the blues. So I'm going to start with this light color, obviously. Now this is sort of a pearlescent -y white color. Oh my gosh, I keep knocking everything over. Um, do you ever have those days where you just like, it's like a dropsy day and you just feel like every time you touch something, it's like blah, blah, blah. Can't hold anything. Keep dropping it. Yeah, I've had a couple of those this week. All right, I'm just trying to find my brush for light. So you could just take that and then pop it on. So it's got a ever so light blue tinge. I actually think it's more like a gray, I'll say, a gray tinge to it. But it's still a sort of this pearless any kind of white so it's quite pretty now the other thing too is you could mix and match from the other palettes as well so it might be that you know you have this one and you have morning toffee or oh honey or even the glowing rose one I wore that yesterday I think I'll do that look because that was great and fun and there's also the green one, No Fairy Teal. That's great. If you'd like me to do a look on that, please let me know because I understand green eyeshadow is a bit in the same as blue eyeshadow. can be a little bit scary to do. But it doesn't have to be. All right. So, there we have just all over 
just to brighten open the eyes that's what your first one is always about so there's these two colors I will go with the second color so I'm gonna just use this palette today you could mix and match with um, a whole lot of palettes as I said um, it does not have to be just one or the other um, and I, I do like to mix and match these with the um the matte range so i'm um, i'm a big fan of like adding hazelnut in the middle there that's like my standard mid-tone color because it's a flat brown it goes with everything um you could mix it with um some of the purples it could be you do a little bit of a different mix and match so don't be limited to just these but if you have just one of these you've got ideas as well so i'm gonna just grab i've got two brushes here that both of the same and that's not what I was going for I want this brush so I'm gonna go for this lighter blue color and I'm just going to put that all over I'm just building up the color gradually and blending it in at the same time now I could imagine using this palette and using the dark blue which is so beautiful it's like a shimmery ocean um and well we all know I'm a singer so seeing the blues just makes so much sense to me um but I could imagine using that dark one if I was doing a really awesome um blue smoky eye look that I wanted really vibrant sort of color so I'm actually sort of patting and blending at the same time because you can see it just gives a nice color. So this would be awesome mixed in with some hazelnut or even actually like some cinnabar, some another sort of brownie color. If, if you're a bit afraid of just having blue, if you mix it together with some browns, it can actually just create this sort of smoky blue tinged look instead of the other one that it would be absolutely gorgeous with is cashmere haze so there's some other options for you if you're afraid of doing it just on its own and you're afraid of blue eyeshadow <laughs> I need to send this picture to my mum and be like oh look mum blue eyeshadow um, no I thought she, she looked beautiful and I'll be honest and say that's where my love of makeup came from her so I had a Mary Kay party when I was 13 because my mum knew I love makeup so much that she thought I might as well learn it early on it's a great idea you learn early and you feel confident and all of that I really advise it if you are ever thinking of if you have 13 year old daughters um, or whatever it is a really good idea and they all have heaps of fun because they do make up together and all of that. Now, what I'm going to use today, you could use gel eyeliner, you could use um, liquid liner. Um, I'm just going to use my normal one. So I'm going to fill in my waterline first. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to really smudge the darker blue into this today. Um, now, I'm on the end of the lid is a little sharpener. So I am just going to sharpen this so I get more of a point. If you've never done this before, it is quite nice and soothing. See? Now it's a point. Ooh. <laughs> now it's a point. And then you can put it back down. Um... So these are actually really, really handy. So I'm just going to just line my eye normally. Um, I'm going to go in with the sort of line up like that. You do it however you want to do it. Um, who else loves eyeliner? It's so much fun. Sometimes it doesn't work. Like the other day, this is coming from a makeup artist. The other day, I was trying to do my own. <laughs> I just was getting it everywhere. 
was so funny. I was just like, what is going on? It was like, it was like my dropsy days. I don't know. It just did not want to work. I was getting it everywhere, but my, but on myself. I was getting it in my hands and it's hot. But again, as always with eyeliner, little strokes. I love this eyeliner that, this one. Um, it smudges beautifully, but it stays if you don't want it to smudge. Um, you can create that point. You can do so much with it, it and it goes on so beautifully. So comes in different colors as well. So if you've never had one of these, I advise you to check it out. And remember too that with Mary Kay, and I'm going to put a touch under here as well. With Mary Kay, you can always try before. So come see me or your Mary Kay lady and see what it's like on the back of your hand. See what it's, see how it works before you buy one. that's the fun of it. All right, so we've got some eyeliner going. Woo. Now, we're going to go in with the darkest color. So I'm going to grab this brush so it's got like a stubby end and we'll go boop, 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 with the darkest color. Now, I want to go along the eyeshadow. I mean, along the eyeliner. So I am creating this sort of smoky look, as you can see. Now you could go more crazy. I'm going to blend it all in in a minute. So just put up there. You'll notice too, like if you've not watched my videos before or anything like that, I do a classic um, C shape on the outside edge there or V shape wedge on the outside edge if you want to rhyme. Um, because it opens and brightens my eye. This shape is really good for my eye shape now, but for most people's eyes, that's a, this is a good way of doing it. Um, so you do the bright colour first, and then you do a slightly deeper colour that enhances your crease, and then you get this final colour, which um, is your accent colour, and that you do that in sort of a circle, and it opens and brightens your eyes. So, there we go. You can see, now, the classic thing with blue, I'm going to say this. Classic thing with blue eyeshadows is it tends to just create things everywhere else. So we are going to clean this up. But first of all, I'm just going to grab my brush that I did the lighter color with um, because I want to. Like I'm, I'm loving the color of this. This is so gorgeous. But I'm just going to grab some of the lighter color again and just really go close to my eyebrow there so that it's real clean cut and is open and bright. Woo! Can also just go in here. That opens your eye up. All right. So now we need to do some mascara, but we also need to clean up the eyes. Um, grabbing my eye primer. This is my one of my favorite things. These are a few of my favorite things. Yes, they are. So, really get this. I love this because, one, I get really bad hay fever, so it stops my eyes from itching. Um, it keeps the mascara on longer. It conditions my eyelashes. It is the best. Okay, <clears throat> so while that's drying... 
we're going to just clean up a little bit around here so what I'm going to do for that now you could use some under eye corrector today I'm actually going to grab my the brush that I use I'm going to sweep it underneath there and then I'm going to grab my concealer in deep ivory and just go in like this so I'm going to give a line here and the reason for that is one it gives a touch of contouring but it brightens up under the eye when you've got like a dark eye you want to make sure that there is really no darkness underneath or otherwise it'll just look like you've been punched in the eye which is not what we're going for so lightening it up it's your best bet now as I said you can use under eye corrector that's also fabulous for under there I just wanted to really brighten it up today now I'm just gonna grab my Lash Intensity Mascara. And I'll whack that on. How long has it been since you changed your mascara? Question. You do realize that should be changing it every three months so one good thing to get for Christmas two good thing to give at Christmas people love a mascara plus you could do really cute little packs with these with these eyeshadows like one of these with a lip gloss or one of these with a mascara a fabulous gifts you're giving them three eyeshadow colors and mascara is like everything that they need. I can help you with little packs. Got some great gift pack ideas. If you want help with that for Christmas. Woo! So, fun, love it. Okay, see, everything keeps falling over. It's so funny. Oh my gosh. So I am now going to put some uh, powder all over just to set it. Um, I've got a long day of teaching and then rehearsals. So I'm going to put some Ivory 2 Mineral Powder Foundation. Um, just now you could put translucent, you can put whatever, but I just love setting with this kind of powder. So I put that in the spots that are a bit lighter and then I'm going to grab beige one mineral powder and put that as like a sort of contour so under my cheekbones because remember light colors bring forward dark colors push back so when you're contouring you just want to put the deeper color where you sort of want it to be thinner or um, pushed back under your jaw there, more defined. All right. So, that's that so far. Woohoo! Yay. So, we're going to finish off with, of course, some blush. We can't go without that. So important. Blush brush. Um, and I'm actually going to go with a little bit more sort of nude -y. So, a bit of rosy nude there sort of getting a little bit of desert rose on it as well so didn't mean for that to happen but it did and I'm actually going to go with one of the new nude lipsticks the matte ones that are out for Christmas so that you can see them as well now I'm going to grab the Tip of this and get some glisten. Da, da, da. Or glazed. What's it called? I think it's called glazed. I forget every time. 
I should have named it what I keep calling it. Because I like a little bit of shimmer. And then we're going to finish with lips. So the one that I'm going with, so there's these two matte nudes. So we've got a great array of new, new lipsticks. We've got a great array of normal lipsticks. But you've got the Ultra Stay Lip Lacquers. Um, so I was wearing one of them the other day in a pic and in the video I did about the new lipsticks. And check tonight because I've put the link up to my YouTube video about how to actually apply them and use them. Um, but then we have these great new mattes. And they come in two different colors. So we've got Spice of Life. Woo. And or Tornacious Torp. So you've got two kind of colors there. Now, this, this look, you could wear reds, you could wear pinks, you could wear whatever you like. I am going to go with Spice of Life because hmm, it's fun. And it's probably the one I'd more likely wear out of the two. I'm not a real nude lips fan. I do create nude lips um, sometimes, but I prefer to have bright lips because it's more fun. But I'm going to use this one, just putting it on a brush. You don't have to, of course, if you own it. Uh, but I like this color. with the blue. Sort of a reddy brown. There we go. Interesting and fun. So you could add um, some gloss onto that if you like. Like even though this is a matte lipstick, obviously, um, you could add some gloss onto that just to make it a little bit more uh, nude if you want. Uh, fancy Nancy lip gloss over the top would be great. Um, or uh, the other one is Pink Parfait. Pink Parfait over different lipsticks really gives them a more nude look so it's a fantastic one for that I, I never wear it on its own but I wear it over the top of things to create a nude lipstick um, sorry I'm just my voice is tired but this is really nice I like this it is sort of brown but red so if you like a bit of a mix you might go bright I don't know I do really like this look though. So we have the Sing the Blues palette up here, which is fabulous. I love it. I love um, bright eyeshadow anyway. Um, and then we have the Spice of Life new matte lip as well. So I hope that you enjoyed that today. Um, if you have a go at using some of these new um, Mary Kay at Play baked eyeshadow trios, let me know. I'd love to see your looks. Um, if I can help you with your decisions um, or maybe you just want to know what works for you, book it a time with me. I'd love to spend some time with you and just chat and find out what works for you, help with your face. If you need skincare, um, if you've got any questions about skincare or if you do need help with your skin, please also contact me or your Mary Kay lady. I hope you have a fabulous, fabulous week. Don't miss out on the great deals that we have this month, but also I want to see some color play. It's always fun to play with color. It's not tattoo. It does come off and you can have a fantastic time um, with something new this season. So I hope to see you soon. Have a great week. Bye.